My name is Scott Marlowe. I work with the Rural Advancement Foundation International. This is one of a series of videos that we're doing on disaster recovery for farmers. Today what we're going to talk about is the division of labor between agencies following a disaster. One of the things that we see most frequently is that people are not sure which agencies to ask about which kind of damage. Understanding who to go to for different losses and for help in different parts of the recovery is a really important part of being effective. So for instance, um, we've had farmers who would call up FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, and ask about farm losses. And the person on the phone would say, we don't help farmers when they didn't ask about the farmer's home and household, which they do help with. So it's important to know who to ask about what. So I'm going to lay out what the different kinds of losses are and who deals with them. There are several different kinds of losses following a, a, a disaster, especially a hurricane like the one that we just had here. First, there are household losses. And that can be the home itself. That can be possessions. And that can be financial losses. The second type of losses are farm losses. And that can be production. The production losses are crops that you had in the field or other things that you were growing for sale. It can be production capacity. That is, for instance, if you're a blueberry producer or an orchardist, you may have lost trees or bushes that would produce a crop further down the line, and you, but you've lost those bushes or trees. That's loss of production capacity. And the third is buildings or equipment. One thing that we can break out on the capacity piece is damage to the land itself. What do you need in order to do to the land? What do you need to do to the land in order to um, rehabilitate it, in order to get the land back into production, productive capacity? The last type of losses, and we're going to talk more about this in a minute, are businesses. So if you have a business, that could be a restaurant, that could be a distribution business, any number of things. Um, that's a whole different set of losses and we want to keep those separated. So there are basically three main agencies who work in disasters. The first one in is going to be FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA is only going to work on household losses especially the possessions and the home. So FEMA is only going to deal with those things who are, that are the possessions of the household, not any of the other pieces. Um, this is where we look at if someone doesn't have their medications or someone's having a difficult time or needs food or other things like that. FEMA is the place to call. The second major agency on this is the USDA the USDA Farm Service Agency, or the FSA. Obviously, FSA is only going to deal with the production issues, or with the farm issues. That can be production capacity, buildings and equipment. In general, disaster assistance for production losses are going to be dealt with through risk management programs like crop insurance or the non-insured crop disaster assistance program. There's very rarely um, funding that's made available after the fact for production losses. It's not that it doesn't happen, but those are generally seen to be um, in your crop insurance or NAP. For buildings or equipment, for your, you're usually assumed to have your own insurance, private insurance for that. So big sheds or equipment or things like that, generally just like your vehicle or other things, you're really looking at, they're, they're assuming that you're going to have private insurance on that. The capacity issue is one where a lot of programs come online over time. And it's a place where you want to document all of the work that you do to return the land to capacity. Clearing trees, clearing out ditches, 
um, repairing fences, all of those types of things are one of the things that FSA can really work with. Now, the third agency is the Small Business Agency. Uh, Small Business Administration, I'm sorry, the Small Business Administration. The SBA, while obviously it works on the business aspect, SBA also has a program which is a, a guaranteed disaster recovery loan program for individual homes. So SBA does have a home loan or loans that can help deal with, home, with damages to the house. One of the questions that we've gotten over time is that this line between USDA and SBA can be a very fuzzy one. It can be a very fuzzy line. Um, and the way that that's determined is a complicated process. Part of what's important here is that you're in communication with each of these agencies and you're working through this with them. Um, so sometimes we see that those agencies need to take a little while to figure some of these things out too. So it's important to be having those conversations. But there's a two-part process that determines where that line is drawn. The first part is, is it a separate tax entity? So for instance, let's say that I have a dairy and my daughter comes back to start up a cheese making operation. Well, the first question in terms of this line between SBA and FSA is, is that cheese making operation a separate tax entity from the farm? If it's not, then it's a part of the farm. If it is, then we go on to the second step. The second step is the percentage of household income. This one's a little bit more complicated. So if my daughter's come back, she's buying milk from the farm and she's making it into cheese, we have separate business entities. But the second part is, what is the percentage of household income that comes from the farm versus the business? And do the owners of the business make more than 50% of their household income from the farm? So if she is complete owner of the cheese making operation, and I'm not a part owner, and she's getting more than 50% of her income from that business, then it's a business and it's eligible for SBA programs. But if I'm part owner, if I helped her establish that business, and I worked with my daughter to create it, and I'm a part owner in that business, then my household income gets included as well. And if, this, and if the farm is more than half of our collected household income, then it's back to the farm. So it gets pretty complicated to work through. Um, a lot of those lines are really important to work through with people from the agencies, but it makes a big difference in terms of what programs you can get access to. So to review, the three main agencies after a disaster are gonna be FEMA, the FSA, and the Small Business Administration. FEMA is household, Farm Service Agency is going to be the farm, Small Business Administration is a business, or in some cases the house. Thank you very much.